Well, hello there, it's Mark Traversona here at Saturn Magic, and we're live on a Sunday night. So, um, we're going to have uh, a, a slightly shorter live this evening because uh, the last one I did was on Tuesday due to the Easter holidays. So, um, not so much to talk about because we've only had a few days since the last one. Uh, so, as we normally do, uh, so Dave's first one in there, good evening, Dave. Uh, as we normally do, uh, we'll do a quick rundown on what uh, has been doing well this month. There's been a few little changes in the um, top 10 so far this month. Uh, number 10, we've got the Ultimate Remaxed Isolation from Kieran Johnson. That's the sign card in ice. Uh, that had a bit of a boost this year when David Stone did it on stage with a credit card because anything basically roughly the size of a poker-sized playing card, be it money or a, a playing card or a credit card, uh, can end up inside a frozen block of ice. So that's there at number 10. Uh, number 9 is the Mentalism Routine. Did I say that right? <laughs> Mentalism Routine, Trackenberg. Again, from Kieran Johnson. So Kieran's doing very well in the chart uh, so far this month. And uh, number 8, we've got the Bang Sharpie from Lord Harry. So that's a sort of a gag that uh, uh, gets some good fun with the spectator there, where the Sharpie goes bang, and you can then give them another Sharpie and you get the uh, trepidation that they think it's going to happen again. Uh, so that's there at number eight. Uh, number seven is the lighter from Sans Mines called Light It Up. Uh, so that there comes in three finishes. And I always get a bit confused uh, as to how they justify, not exactly confused, I, I sort of wonder why uh, they do three different colours uh, and the prices vary wildly because the, the covering is roughly the same on each one. It's just a different colour. So. Uh, no idea how they uh, justify one being considerably more than the other, but I suppose it depends what you like. Uh, the black one is the cheapest, uh, so that one's been doing exceptionally well. Uh, not so many on the other ones, because uh, I think most people are a bit much the same as me. You know, that it's just a lighter, so what does the colour really matter? Uh, we also have the, uh, the refills uh, in stock, by the way. Uh, that's these here. Uh, these are the refill coils. Uh, you get three in a pack. Uh, so we've got a heap of those in stock for uh, for you when you need those. Uh, you've got to be careful with those, so make sure if when you're taking the, the thing in and out to charge that you don't bash it or you know touch it inadvertently because they are a very fine wire and uh, can break. Uh, they will wear out over time as well uh, without touching them or breaking them. Uh, but uh, just be careful and uh, you'll get uh, long life out of your coil and it will only break when it's like physically worn out. That, ki that kind of thing, uh, I c I've come across them in the past in like model car engines or aeroplane engines where they have what they call a glow plug in there. Uh, and basically they do survive quite a while, uh, but um, eventually the, the heating, because it's a very fine coil, does cause them to break. So it's not a fault with the coil breaking, it's just like a consumable item in the lighter. Uh, but they should last uh, with uh, care, you know, a fair while. Uh, so that's there at number seven. And uh, number six, we've got the Real Man's Wallet. Now, I showed that a week or two ago. That's the wallet that I use. Uh, mine's looking a bit battered and uh, well, well used because I've been carrying this around now for must be at least a couple of years. Uh, well, no, it probably is a couple of years, one to two years. And uh, it's still holding up well. And it's a brilliant wallet as a normal wallet. Uh, got loads of room in it for credit cards, money, all sorts of things. Uh, it's got, um, actually for those of you that want uh, outs in your wallet, uh, you've got space uh, under here, so you've got one, two, <coughs> you've actually got, uh, uh, if you put money in there then you can put uh, things either side, uh, so you have got space for outs. This is the loading compartment, or where, where the reveal comes out, which if you wanted to, you could have an out in there as well if you weren't going to use it as a card to wallet. Um, so that's the Real Man's Wallet there at number six. We have only got a few of those left now at the offer price. Um, so I'd imagine the way they're going probably within the next week. Um, that's the reason why it's probably in the charts now, because we've had it on offer. Um, and uh, within about the next week, I expect the price will be going back to normal. So if you're on the fence, um, jump in and get one while we've still got some. Uh, number five is the Venom Cube from Henry Harrius. Uh, we have one left in stock. Um, those of you that watch these regularly know that we were having a delivery last week. It came in on Thursday 
and we've only got one left. <laughs> and no, we didn't just buy two in. Uh, so uh, it's selling extremely well this month. Uh, it's an expensive trick, uh, you know, it's over £100. Uh, but uh, those of you that have rung up and spoke to me about it, one particular customer rang up and, uh, you know, was saying, you know, I've never done Cube Magic before, am I going to be able to do this? And as I've said time and time again, yes, anybody can do this uh, once you've uh, learned the very basic handling of, of it. Um, it's virtually a self-working trick, you know, you've just followed the procedure and it works. Uh, but if you want to do the flash solves at the end, you know, the instant solving, then that is what we would probably call sleight of hand with a cube. So, yes, you have got to learn that, but Henry teaches you as well. Uh, but the good thing is with this trick, you can get on and do the trick straight away and uh, you can then um, practice over time. And, you know, you never know at some point if you learn those slights, which aren't difficult, uh, you can do the instant solve uh, finish to it as well. Uh, so that's there at number five. Number four is one that I am just absolutely loving performing at the moment. Uh, everyone that comes into the shop I'm showing it to. I've been doing gigs the last couple of weeks now. And the Ultimate Ambition by Daryl uh, is just absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's an amazing ending to any ambitious card routine. Um, I, I actually, there's a bonus page which I've mentioned before. That's live on the website now. Uh, so uh, that's there. Uh, a couple of minor amendments I've done to the gimmick, which are minor amendments. Anybody can do them. They're really, really simple. Uh, and um, a handling that just starts with everything in play. So there's nothing to ring in or out for those of you that worry about doing that kind of thing. Uh, so an awesome, really easy, uh, simple, ambitious card routine with an amazing ending is what I teach you on the bonus page. Uh, so that's there at number four. Number three this month is the Revelation Gum. So that's still banging away there. That's the reveals of um, all sorts of things. Uh, adult <laughs> uh, things, card reveals, happy birthday, smiley face, giving somebody the finger. Uh, Revelation Gum uh, doing exceptionally well, very organic. I think that's why it's doing so well uh, because no end of people chew chewing gum and to be doing a trick for your mates or whatever while you're chewing a piece of gum and you pull out the piece of chewing gum and it can be whichever of the reveals that you want. Uh, I think that's why it's doing so well this month. Uh, number two, uh, we have Recubed uh, with Bonus Pixelated from Kev G. Uh, that's where you take a, um, in the um, trailer, you see uh, a glass with loads of Rubik Cube uh, pieces in, tipped into a bag, quick shake of the bag and tipped out a solved Rubik cube. You can show the inside of the bag empty and um, carry on with a normal Rubik cube routine. A few people have asked can it be a mixed up cube in a stack as we were just talking about you know things with um, uh, Venom. Uh, yes it hasn't got to be a solved cube that comes out it can be in a stack. Yes you can use the cube for Isolated by Kieran Johnson. Yes, you can use the cubes for the Hopping Cubes by Takami Zuzai or the Super Quick Cube. Uh, or if you've got your own favourite cubes that you like to use, say you like to use the RD cubes that come with Venom, um, you would uh, just discard the, what we give you and replace them with your own and just use the other stuff that we give you to, um, to get yourself up and running with whichever cubes you want. Uh, but you would have to supply the cubes for that, obviously. But we do give you the cubes with it. Uh, that are the matching cubes for isolated and those are the tricks that I just mentioned. Uh, while I was on the live last week somebody did say uh, they were more of a mentalist I think it was and that they would like to have pixelated uh, just on its own. Uh, well as usual we listen to what you say and uh, the following day uh, we did list it so it's there now on the website. Uh, you can buy pixelated on its own uh, which is the effect where uh, a picture of a Rubik cube uh, is revealed. You haven't got to have a card to wallet, so it's inside an envelope inside a wallet. You can reveal it in any way that you actually want, uh, but that's just the way Kev likes to do it. Uh, he uses the real man's wallet actually, so if you wanted to do that, then you could get one of those and that as well. Uh, the price it's $19.99 just for pixelated, or it's $39.99 uh, for recubed and pixelated. As I said last week on the live, um, when someone queried that they just wanted to buy pixelated, I said, well, if we sold pixelated just on its own, you may as well just pay the extra and, you know, because recubed is a great effect, you know, and considering you get two cubes with it and all the gimmicks and supplies and stuff with it, um, we, I, I couldn't really see the 
uh, unless you live in the States, say, for instance, and you didn't want to pay shipping. That's, a, that's the only downside that I could see as to why you wouldn't want the two together, really, for what extra it would be to have Recube. So Recube is there at, uh, by Kev G, uh, is there at number two. Uh, number one uh, this week, and uh, it's happened again, and uh, you might think this, this is crazy. Um, we've only got one level one left. Uh, it actually says in stock on the website, actually, because we've got a delivery coming in tomorrow. Uh, and again, I've sold my actual gimmick. Uh, the number of times when we uh, run out, so we ran out in the week, we got some more in on Friday, we've now got one left, so I couldn't have that one, so now I've got to wait till tomorrow to get another one. Uh, so that keeps happening time and time again that uh, when something's really, it happened with Ultimate Ambition actually uh, as well when that first came in, but thankfully I've got my one now and it's not going anywhere. Uh, the level one, uh, there was a slight gremlin in the system in that I was going on about the bonus, uh, not the bonus video, the full performance video for level one, which I think is the fantastic way to do this trick where you take three pictures of the uh, of the deck. It disappeared from the web, I won't go into why, but it disappeared from our website, so I'll put it back on there now and hopefully it's stuck there forever. So you've got the main trailer and then below it it says full performance and you can watch the uh, one where he uh, gets the person to take three pictures of the deck. Uh, those of you that have got level one, um, if you take uh, an extra uh, picture at the end, so when you get them to take the picture of one card, if you put the card in your top pocket, if you wear a jacket, then you can do four pictures and that helps with the cleanup at the end. Those that have got level one will know what, uh, what I mean by that. So you do four pictures. So when you're left with the one card down here, you then put it in your pocket and say swipe to the last picture. And so of course you put that in the pocket and then you turn the card round and it's their card that they chose. Uh, you can do a signed card as well, uh, but it's that kind of trick that doesn't necessarily need it unless you want to then go on and do something with the signed card afterwards. Uh, so that's a quick rundown of the chart. So good evening to everybody. Um, not long since we did the last one, as I just mentioned at the beginning. So sorry if there's a little bit of repetition there uh, because it's only a few days since we did the last one, but I thought we'd get back on track with the Sunday Lives and uh, do a little bit of catching up. Uh, got a couple of things to talk about, but let's just see uh, what you guys are saying. Okay, no questions in there just yet, so we're doing okay so far. Uh, so I mentioned about the pixelated thing, so you can now get that on its own. Uh, size does matter. I talked about that on Tuesday, I think it was. Um, and so there's been quite a lot of questions about size does matter. And actually talking it through with customers since then, uh, we have actually been selling quite a few of the UK version. Uh, now we're waiting for more of those to arrive. They'll arrive on Wednesday and Murphy's are nearly sold out. Uh, and the reason why we've been selling them is I, when it first came out, I was having a hard time justifying um, why you were using the old style five pound notes and the 50 pound note isn't a totally up to date one either. Uh, plus we're now using plastic money. So of course it's completely out of date, not even uh, up with what the you know notes were before they changed. And it then suddenly came to me when I was talking to a particular customer uh, that you can justify having the fake notes. If you, It depends whether you like this patter or not, or whether you can uh, sort of do it in your routine or not. Uh, but if you bring out a stack of fake five pound notes, which are supplied with it, and the great thing about the gimmick is it's 100% ready made. So there's no sticking, no gluing, no nothing. You just take it out of the packet, watch the instructions, learn how to do it, and you're away, you can do it. Um, all the fake notes are there. Uh, I did show on the thing that the dollar one that I showed last week had got um, got it printed on. Uh, I haven't seen the English one because all the English ones came in were shipped out so I, I, I couldn't open one of those up because they went out as soon as they came in. Uh, but we've got more coming in on Wednesday so I think I'll be grabbing one of those actually for myself because um, you can show all of the um, five pound notes. Now if some smart ass turns around and says uh, oh you know <coughs> they're not real or they're old ones you know or whatever you say yeah they are uh, do you know why they had to change and they'll sort of go mm, they, they might know they might not and there's a couple of reasons why they changed the notes to plastic one is that they last a bit longer and two uh, they're harder to forge 
and you can say that um, this is the very reason why uh, they had to change uh, because look they're not real and you can show them uh, the five pound notes uh, if you wanted to you could even point out that it says on there that they're not real uh, so you can show them the five pound notes and sure enough they're not real and you say that's the problem they look pretty good though don't they from a distance so you get that confirmation you know that they don't look bad so if they don't notice that they're fake then obviously you can point them out that they're fake uh, you can then do the change and they're changing change into 50s and of course that will get an instant reaction because not only have they changed in uh, colour uh, to the sort of reddish 50 pound note they're obviously a lot bigger than the five pound note so that's you know the thing with size does matter uh, they then changed to 50 pound notes and people were going well you know well and then of course you can say but of course you know what the problem is and uh, you can show them all you know completely fake so you can end your routine there and that's pretty much how extreme burn would um, end um, uh, but you've had the magical moment of the changing of size and colour with everything ready made without having to sign your money up in the trick and um, there you go uh, one thing that will happen though uh, is that they will sort of wear out over time so uh, assuming that it's still available in months or years down the line because we're finding now with magic tricks that once they've gone off the boil as such uh, Murphy's don't necessarily always restock uh, and if the trick, uh, this one's selling quite well, but if the trick has been a bit, you know, sort of iffy on the sales, they don't restock and they, the stuff's getting discontinued quite quickly. Um, so it depends whether this catches on uh, around the world, not just in the UK. It's obviously not selling tremendously well in the UK at the moment because of the um, fives and the fifties not being uh, the right ones. Uh, but as I've just mentioned there, if you like the idea of basically doing... Uh, the gimmick is almost exactly the same as Extreme Burn with a modification, uh, but you can't handle it exactly the same as Extreme Burn because of the way that it's done. Uh, so if, if you do Extreme Burn currently, uh, the locked and loaded version, that's the sort of gimmick that you're getting with this, uh, but you've got the ability within that gimmick to transform the size. And it's very clever. I'm surprised no one thought about it before, actually, how he went about... Uh, being able to do that size change which is you know pretty good as you can see in the video and uh, not uh, not very hard to do uh, so that's a, just a little bit about size does matter and if you fancy that fake English version uh, that pattern might uh, might suit you so it might be worth having a look at uh, what else have we got uh, something that I had a look at which I wasn't totally uh, jumping up and down about because it wasn't really my thing but I thought I'd mention it because it's quite well made and everything and that's the karate cap from Taiwan Ben uh, you know what a karate coin is when you end up pushing your finger through a coin well now you can do it with a bottle top uh, and do the very similar effect but with a bottle top so if you fancy that kind of thing uh, bottle top magic has been and still is very popular uh, if you fancy that then take a look at uh, the karate cap uh, the other one that I've got here on the desk and let's just make sure I've got it the right way around is uh, where's the box uh, is or the package is Gamma uh, from uh, Felix Bowden um, and uh, as I mentioned last week uh, I expected it to be in very good packaging and it is um, it's um, very, very sort of hard cardboardy type thing uh, you've got um, a nice recess there for the gimmick uh, as it comes in and the gimmick uh, is a five of diamonds they're all the five of diamonds and um, uh, what you can do you blow on the gimmick and uh, or give it a shake or um, or whatever and it changes to a black uh, five of diamonds uh, at the beginning of the routine you'll have forced a black five on somebody and um, and once you've um, once you've done that, uh, you've got your five of diamonds, and you give it a shake, uh, and it changes uh, to the black five that uh, they chose earlier, and then you can hand them that card out. So it's a very uh, it's a self-working colour change. So what what you've essentially got there is a gimmick that does the first bit of magic for you, uh, and uh, people have said how you know how how good is it how examinable is it uh, the, the the gimmick is um, is very well made I said to you uh, 
on Tuesday that it'd be very well made. If someone was to, in fact, I'm looking at this down here. You know, if I stare at this now, looking to try and find fault in it, um, there's not an awful lot that you can read. And a spectator, you're not going to get. You know, I'm looking at this to try and think, well, how good does this actually look? And I, I know it doesn't look a hundred percent. Uh, like a playing card because obviously it is partially gimmicked but um, the uh, and I'm just looking at it now when it's black as well you know that's even better from the black view actually it does look just like a totally flat card in the red view you might be able to see something if you're looking really really close uh, but bear in mind that when you turn the card over it's only for a few seconds that they actually see the red card and um, then it changes to black and in this view it looks exceptionally good uh, i really like the fact that the whole thing changes black as well uh, the number the pip and all, all the pips on there as well so i really like the fact that the whole thing changes uh, so there you've got a gimmick that does that actual change for you uh, and then you, you can't call the twirl change sleight of hand really um, Although I suppose it is technically, but it is very, very easy. You know, when you talk about sleight of hand, there's sleight of hand that will take you some moves, months and months and months to learn. A uh, twirl change will take you, I don't know, if you've never done it before, it might, might take you an hour uh, to, uh, to to get it down, assuming that you've got reasonable dexterity in your fingers for, for doing things, and, and not that it's very difficult at all. Um, so you've, you've got a, a self-working colour change with a, a very easy slight that you need to do to actually transform it then into their card um, that they can examine fully at the end of the routine. Uh, you could of course get that card signed if you wanted to at the beginning. Uh, the only issue is with that is you probably get, want to get yourself a one-way forcing deck. Uh, because it's a black five you could use a five of clubs or five of uh, spades to uh, change it into. So if you're going from group to group, uh, it hasn't always got to be the five of clubs or hasn't always got to be the five of spades. So at least you've got two options that you could do there uh, rather than it being the same card uh, every time that they pick. But you would need to get yourself forcing deck to, uh, to be able to do that if you were going to get it signed. If you weren't bothered about it being signed, uh, then of course you could um, you know, do it unsigned. Uh, so that is Gamma. Right. Uh, Let's have a look at any um, Okay, I can't believe we haven't got one question on anything this evening. There's normally something that somebody uh, pops in with uh, that they're looking for me to talk about or discuss. And as I said, this would be a fairly short live uh, because I've got to the end of my list that I wanted to talk about. So unless anyone's got anything in particular, uh, that they would like me to uh, to cover very quickly. Uh, bang that comment in there and we can um, get on to that subject. So I'll give it a few seconds while uh, to give someone a chance if they wanted me to talk about any particular trick. Uh, let me have a quick look on our website while I'm doing that, uh, just in case I have missed anything. Uh, I will mention actually we've got a couple of Meteor deals which uh, we still have got some stock of. Uh, we've got Scott Creases Sudoku, um, which is like a book test with a puzzle book, uh, which has proved extremely popular. That's just 19.99. Uh, so we've got some of those. We've got some of John. I'm just looking on the shelf actually. We've got some of John Horn smudged left, where the Sharpie marker prediction is smudged on the Sharpie. So if you like that kind of thing, uh, go into the uh, sale items. Uh, let me just have a quick look in the sale items actually, just to tell you what else is in there. Oh yeah, there's some banked in there as well, which is the um, coin in bottle gimmick. So um, if you're familiar with, um, there's various ways of doing coin in bottle. Uh, there's one by Nick Einhorn where um, the, the coin is within the gimmick and that goes, um, I don't really want to expose it actually, uh, but banked is very similar if you know that. Um, so it, uh, it's a way of, um, holding out the coin basically uh, in, in almost plain sight if that makes sense so we've got those available in black and white uh, they're in the sale section which they're below half price so if you fancy uh, coin in a plastic bottle using a plastic bottle cap uh, then pick uh, pick one of those up oh yeah we've got a few uh, ultimate 
uh, Sven pads by Brett Barry uh, left on offer. Um, so if you fancy one of those, you can jump in and get one of those. Uh, there's some Lolly Heroes in Wonder Woman and uh, Iron Man uh, in there in the sales section. There's the Gift Red, not too sure if I did mention that. Uh, we've got Matthew Wright's Unusual Suspect uh, DVD, uh, which is very well worth a look at. All of Matthew's stuff is absolutely fantastic. Um, we've got the Mind Pod, actually, which I like very much there. That's a um, sort of a mentalism prediction where you uh, know which song that they've picked uh, from a selection of um, sort of... Um, the, the cards are like little uh, iPods. And they pick a song off it and you're able to tell which song it is and the, the method the way that works is, is simply quite genius and it fools uh, just about everybody and everyone that i've actually shown the method to that's come into the shop are also quite impressed with what the method actually is um we've got the real man's wallet which i mentioned and there's a few other things there and i won't go through everything but those just a few highlights from the um, the sale area Okay, so let's jump back on the live feed and see if anyone's actually asked for anything there. Uh, predict and grab. I didn't um, see Steve mentions uh, predict and grab. Um, that um, is an app. Uh, those of you that know me will know that I'm not a great fav uh, favour lover of uh, app type magic and using my mobile phone. Uh, but if you like the effect, uh, it's very simple, easy to do, and um, yeah, a good effect if you like uh, like it and uh, like what you see in the trailer. So there's nothing really hidden there. Uh, if you like what you can do there, then and you can pick uh, any picture as well, so you can specify the picture, um, and you can change it to a different picture if, if you want to change it to a different picture. That, that obviously means you've got to go into the phone and do things, so you can't go from one group to another very quickly in changing the picture. Uh, but the good thing is, is you can change the picture, which is pretty good. Um, uh, flat packed. Um, my brain's gone blank as to what flat packed it actually is, actually. So, no, I don't have an update on that one at the moment. Um, uh, Janet saying about Kieran's next book. Kieran's next book should have been out by now, uh, but uh, Kieran's been quite busy, one thing or another, and the, the contents for the book keep growing, and we keep editing the list of what's going to be in the book. Um, but uh, I would say it's going to be later on this year, realistically, and maybe even early next year. Um, it, it's quite hard to actually pin down to actually get him to write, uh, to actually uh, do things. So. Um, you know, it, it's it's going to come, but uh, exactly when, I don't know. Uh, what We have got a great new release coming from Kieran and myself in, we're in April now, so probably in May sometime. Uh, Kieran's just off uh, on another uh, performance stroke lecture uh, thing that he's doing in the next couple of days. So he's going to be um, away for a little while. But uh, we're hoping towards the end of May, uh, into June, we've got... A utility which you can use for loads of different things um, and we, we think it's um, how can we say we keep using the word ultimate with some of our releases uh, we really do think it's the ultimate um, thing and I'm not I'm not gonna say exactly what it is because it will spoil it uh, but um, it, it's really worth looking out for and I think uh, most people um, are going to like it for one reason or another because it does lots and lots of different things. Uh, so a little bit of a teaser there, something coming from Kieran and myself. Okay, uh, so no more questions there that I can see. Sorry if I have missed your question. Uh, most times when I look back through the lives, I think, how on earth did I miss that? But I think the way Facebook lists them, sometimes I don't always see them all. So apologies if I do miss them. I do try and fill in the gaps after the lives if I have missed anything. Um, so there we go, we've just made half an hour this evening. I did think today's work was going to be a little bit shorter, uh, but you've had the highlights of what's been going on this week, what's been selling, and some comments on some of the newer stuff. Uh, so uh, look out for uh, next week, because we'll have had a full week to go through. Uh, oh yeah, a little bit of a teaser. The Battle of the Watches is uh, about to uh, re-spark itself. 
Uh, so look out for uh, some watch news coming up very, very soon. So I'm not, another little teaser for you there. Uh, so look out for some more watch, uh, magic watch news coming up very, very soon. Uh, so thanks for tuning in, everybody, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot and good night.